everybody and welcome back to some Minecraft Forge modding oh yeah that's so awesome um okay I don't know what my mouse did there uh okay so today uh, I will be showing you how you can kind of set up your main modding class uh, for both Idea and Eclipse. Like at the beginning of, it, it's kind of the same, but it's, sorry, in the beginning, it, it kind of, it's different, but the actual code is the same because, you know, it's still Java. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start by showing you how to do it in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so you're going to open up IDEA and wait, it takes me a while. There we go. Oh, hmm. oh. cancel. Okay. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do. I haven't really closed project. I haven't really used idea much, so I don't really know much about it. You're gonna click if you did it, um grade lu idea. You're gonna click open project. Uh for new user thingy desktop. Then projects, Minecraft, open up this, you won't have this symbol, you'll have just a normal folder symbol. Uh, click this little arrow, and then uh, double click tutorial mod or whatever you named your mod. It should have a dot IPR, if not you did something wrong, but whatever. Okay, double click, here we go, and there. Okay, so we're gonna open it. No, we don't have a source folder. So what we're gonna do, right click this tutorial mod, click a new, and then directory. This is just gonna create a new folder. Do source, okay, in here, new directory. Main. It's very important that you spell these all correctly and that you do them all correctly. Directory. We won't be creating most. We won't be really creating file structure. Sorry, file structure, folder structure in this episode. That'll be next episode. But just to let you know. Uh, I mean Java. And then no, sorry. Right click main, directory, resources. Okay, now, we're gonna do, right click Java, do, mark directory as sources root. There, okay. Do the same thing for your resources. Sources root, okay, and now it's now it's just the same okay so let me close off this exit and there oh sorry there okay and now in minecraft you're gonna do new source folder source main java you should see in your source folder, source main job. Instead of just source, your source folder, source main resources. Okay, you are now done. Great. Okay, so now right click Java new class and name. Oh, sorry. New. No package uh, I like to do it this way you can also do right click new package oh also in if let me 
open up in Fledge again. There's a bit I have to explain. Um, open up IntelliJ. Okay. Close. In here, once you've done your source stuff, I, I opt out of project, go into packages. It's loading here. Now, don't open up libraries. Uh, okay, I've apparently messed stuff up here. You're. No! What you doing? Package. Uh, just. Under Java, new package. Just call it whatever. I'm gonna do Lord Mastodon. If you have uh, like a website or just whatever, do com dot Lord Mastodon or net net dot Lord Mastodon. Obviously, you're not gonna do Lord Mastodon. You're gonna do like I don't know uh, whatever your name is. Um, I don't Lord uh, net dot monkey. Net dot Lord Lord Monkey. I don't know. Whatever your name is, I'm gonna do Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod. That'll be good. And now in project packages, you'll see Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod. It's important you're in this packages. I don't know why, but it is. Okay, great. We can now again close off IntelliJ. Okay, and now we're going to make inside our source main folder package Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod. In this, we're going to call it tutorial mod. Okay, make sure this is your name without any spaces and without any capitals. This is your name without any spaces, but you can leave the capitals. Oh, I forgot to say. <sighs> Never include any exclamation points in any name whatsoever unless it's a string. It messes up some stuff, uh, especially in your folder name. Uh, I'll show you. If I open up there, go to desktop, project. And make sure you don't have any exclamation points in this name. None. No exclamation points. No exclamation points. Those will mess you up. Okay. Now, in our tutorial mod, we're going to do at mod name equals uh for now you can just do tutorial mod well the name is what it's like the name like if you're using Wela, then that's the name that's going to be like under your block name from which mod it came from uh yeah and then mod id i'm gonna do t Tut, um, I just gonna do TM. I like to keep it very simple so I can remember it. A mod ID is basically it's kind of the ID that's associated with your mod. So if you want to say, okay, so this block is going to have the is going to carry the idea of TM, meaning that it's specifically from the mod tutorial mod. So if there's another mod called um, the furnace mod with another block with the same name, the same type of thing, I'll know this block is from tutorial mod. Okay. And it's like, it's also, um, if you create it, in here you're gonna have an assets uh, plus your mod ID plus all of your sounds, all of your lang, all of your models and textures, and stuff like that. So yeah, mod ID, and then version, 
if I can spell. I can't spell, apparently. Uh, version. I like to do alpha 1.0.0. In fact, you're supposed to do uh, 1.7.10- and then your actual version. This just means that it's version alpha 1.0.0 for 1.7.10. So I'll just type alpha 1.0.0. Not that it's ever going to be updated. Whatever. And then this is optional, but I like doing it. Um, certificate fingerprint equals, and then to. And then just do termed one point. That's it's not important. It's not going to really change much about your mod, but I'd suggest it. Uh, let me just see. There's nothing in at mod I forgot. Okay, mod ID name version dependencies. Um. Okay, mod language. Uh, you can also make sure that it's, you can say, oh, this is going to be in, you can do uh, Java or Scala. Scala, I would not suggest at all, and I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm not going to be doing this mod in Scala. I'm just... Uh, okay, uh, you can, I, you're going to eventually also need GUI factory, and this is just like a link to your GUI factory, so like, Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod dot client dot GUI dot GUI factory, and there. Something else you can do, dependencies equals, and then like the name of the mod. So if you're like making an add-on for buildcraft, you can say dependencies buildcraft like silicon or something like that. I've never really used this. Uh, there's probably plenty of tutorials out there on how to use that. I've never really used it, so I don't really know how it works. Okay, and then in your tutorial mod. Now, at, oh, I forgot to explain certificate. And certificate fingerprint is basically kind of an another ID that's associated with your mod. So, Basically, there's an event that allows us to check if this ID is not equal to a certain string with the same ID, it's like a cross-reference system, then something will happen and you probably shouldn't use this version of the mod. It's designed as extra security. In my opinion, it doesn't really do much, but I don't know. It could be helpful, I guess. Uh, GUI factory is, um, it's not a replacement for GUI handler. You're still, you'll still have your GUI handler. That's for all your, like, GUIs for your machines and things like that. But this is, it's like, I, um, in the latest version of Forge, uh, 1.7.10, BSPKRS, uh, Briefcase Speakers, the maker, the maintainer of Tree Capitator, has added um, a GUI for your config files. So, if you go into, if you go into like the mods, on if you click the mods button, um, in your startup screen, it shows you kind of. It shows you mods, 
like all the mods you have uh, installed and if you if you click on like tutorial mod it'll give you by you have to have uh, an MC mod info file for this to work but it'll give you like buttons config and disable disable if you look in here um here you'll see can be deactivated this is just here this this is um this is just can be deactivated if you want the mod to be able to uh be deactivated uh, we're not going to be putting that because i don't really think it'll Okay, and that's about it. Mm. Yeah, that's it for our at mod. Now type at sided proxy. Okay, now sided proxies are well the proxies in general. They're kind of registries somewhat for different sides of your game so minecraft has different sides it has client side which is basically kind of graphics and things like that and it has server side which is kind of the server kind of loading things like if your minecraft has ever crashed on you then you've seen shutting down internal server like as a screen kind of a splash screen and like that me my when you start up minecraft it starts an internal server which basically hosts your game and does kind of all the processing kind of deal. So, cited proxies are places in which you want to load things. So, client side. Here you're going to provide a... I can't type! Here you're going to provide link to your client proxy. Just the same as you did for your GUI factory. So I'm gonna do a thing like this. It's gonna be Lord Mastodon dot proxy dot uh, no sorry Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod dot proxy dot client proxy. Okay, now server side. Uh, Lord Mastodon dot tutorial mod dot proxy dot server proxy. We are done. Okay. Now, uh, import. Import for me now, please. Why are you giving me? Hmm. Let's, oh, let's pub, um, here, uh, okay, public static, I proxy, proxy, uh, for now, we're gonna have to comment this out, like that, um, because we are not at the stage, actually, I think we could do proxies subsequently. Let's uncomment that. Yeah, we we can definitely do proxies this episode. At sided proxy now at instance. Don't worry, the parentheses are not important, but you c I l I just like putting them for aesthetics sake. Tutorial mod instance. 
this makes an instance of your mod. Pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like the mod ID, only sometimes you can't use the mod ID, so you use an instance. Great. Now, at event handler, this is, now we're making um, our kind of initialization pre-init, pre post-init, in it, and fingerprint violation um, kind of events. So event handler, public void. I like doing yeah, like public void. Um, Pre-init, you don't, the name of this right here does not matter. You can name it socks. It'll still work the same. I just like naming it pre-init because then I know what it's about. But this is important. You have to do FML pre-initialization event. This right here, that doesn't matter. That's, it's a parameter name of, it doesn't matter. Okay. If you're wondering what the key binding is I'm doing for importing, it's Control Shift O. On a Mac, it would probably com be Command Shift O. Uh, yeah. Pre init. Okay. And at event handler. Okay. Public vault. Now init. It's the same thing as the last one, only this is FML initial initialization event E. Okay. And now the second to last public void. Post init FM, FML post initialization event E. Okay. Now, you're probably going to be doing the most in your pre init right here. And your pre init is where you kind of register your blocks, your items, your recipes, things like that. And your init is where you kind of register your tile entities. And in your post init is where you register your other stuff. I've never used post init. Okay. We are now done with the tutorial mod class. So now let's do new package. Lower Mastodon not tutorial mod dot proxy proxy okay in here new class oh sorry it's not going to be a class but it's fine i proxy interface okay in here this is where you do all of your like stuff so for now i'm just going to type public void init rendering rendering and textures okay no sorry um there Public void, public void register child entity. Okay, we're done with this uh, interface. It's we will be adding more um, more methods than this. These are just kind of things they're they're just things yep 
Okay, so now new class. And here we want to do common proxy. This is going to be a proxy for all the client and the server. It's it'll kind of join them both. So in here, notice I made this abstract. That means it's not it doesn't have to implement the method the methods that I proxy implements. So in here you're gonna write ext implement I proxy. Okay. Now, however, we do want to do at over public void red register tile entities. Okay, we do want this. You're going to be registering your tile entities in your common proxy. Right here. Okay, actually, get rid of the at override. Um, okay. And then that's it for this. Also, you're going to want to go back to your tutorial mod. In here, do prox. Okay. Import iProxy. Proxy dot register tile entities. Proxy dot in it rendering and textures okay that's done you're done with that and now new class client proxy this is going to extend common proxy Okay, add an implemented methods. Okay, init rendering and textures. For now, we're not gonna have anything in here. And now in our in the class server proxy. This is also going to ex extend common proxy. And here the same thing. Get rid of that override. Okay, we are done with proxies. That's done. Okay, we are good. All right, so. We, if I run this, um, you'll see, da, 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 runs, runs, does stuff, does things, okay, great, yeah, awesome, do, do your console stuff, thank you, do, do your, do your console stuff, do it now. Mm, nope. um, okay, and now you'll see tutorial mod version 1.7.10 alpha 1.0.0 and MC mod info. Great! Boom! Tutorial mod. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So. I hope you learned a lot this episode. I hope you, I helped you out, maybe, possibly. Um, this was all, oh wait, we forgot to do the fingerprint thing. And, and, and click void invalid fingerprint. Again, it doesn't really matter what you call fingerprint. If 
event E. Okay, we're done. FML invalid fingerprint event. Come on! Meh! Meh! See? Meh! What's it called again? CPIU mods common event. Ah, uh, FM, FML fingerprint violation event. Okay, that should really okay. Mm. Come on, I am spamming this button. Okay, and now in here, type if. Mm. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I seem to have forgotten what it is. Okay, here we go. This is it for now. This is going to change a lot. I know it really doesn't make sense right now. Um, it, it's going to change. Uh, Okay, so, bye guys, bye.